I'm 20 years old. I'm the only boy in the world with atypical Pajuria syndrome. I get a lot of issues which older people tend to have. My biggest concern is him not being here. Just not being here. <laughs> Sorry. I don't really think about it. I'm just me. Progeria is the, a, defect, a genetic defect which causes rapid ageing due to the excess release of toxin progerin, which everybody has, and that basically makes you age. Uh, but obviously when we release excess of it, it obviously makes us age faster, which can cause a lot of problems. I'm Harry, I'm 20 years old. I'm the only boy in the world with atypical progeria syndrome. The classical progeria is known as hutchinson dulford progeria. They release the toxin progerin, which makes them age faster. Whereas in my genetic defect, for some reason it doesn't release the uh, progerin, which is very confusing for a lot of people because I'm getting the symptoms of aging faster, but I'm technically not genetics wise, which is why I can't obviously use the classical progeria treatment. Nobody else in my family has progeria. It was a random genetic fluke, basically. Uh, there was no genetic like passing down to parental or grandparental genes. It was just a complete random chance. Progeria affects my health in several ways. I get a lot of issues which older people tend to have. So I have uh, arthritic pains, I have uh, joint pains, I have a uh, deterioration of the bones in like my fingertips and my hands. I get tired easily, I'm small for my height. Basically everything like somebody's granddad or grandma would have wrong with me. So on the terms of medication, I take five milligrams of statins a day and then 75 milligrams of aspirin a day. And they're basically just to help with thinning the blood. I take them pretty much every day and I use this to help keep track of everything or which ones I've taken. So you just pop it open, take the pill. So I was first diagnosed with progeria when I was seven years old. At the time of diagnosis, I knew something was different about me, but I didn't really understand what it was. I just knew I was different from other kids. Harry is my third born, he's my last child. We went to see various experts throughout his young life, and it wasn't until he was at the age of seven when somebody thought it might be progeria, and we were sent to America where we got the diagnosis that it was atypical progeria syndrome. This condition was explained to us that it was a less severe form than Hutchinson Guildford. Um, they knew that Harry had a shortened life expectancy, but they weren't able to tell us at that time how long he was to live. I recently went to uh, Japan with my brother Jack. Obviously with my interest in Japanese anime and manga, that was a great experience for me. Uh, I also have an upcoming trip to uh, Finland. Travelling can be uh, pretty difficult sometimes, even though I love it so much. Uh, due to all like medication I take, so I take a lot of uh, pills for me, like painkillers. When it comes to like walking and travelling in general, I, uh, I have arthritis and I get tired very easily. There are obviously some obstacles to when it comes towards travelling, but I try and like not let it get me down. I try to keep going and just have as much fun as possible. I know you don't like coffee. I don't know why My biggest concern coffee. is him losing, you know, not being here. Just not being here. Sorry. I worry about all my children's future, but I especially worry about Harry's because we don't know how long we've got him. Wait, I don't really think about it. I'm just me. I just, I don't try to bring any attention towards it in my daily life. I usually make fun of it most of the time. <laughs> I don't really let it get me down or anything. I just try to see the brighter side of things, I guess. I walk a dog at least once a day, you know, it's just that little bit of exercise that helps uh, with joint pains and exercising and uh, my hips especially. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of good uh, work to do. I pretty much have arthritis in every part of my body, so I get pain everywhere, but it's on a, so I have pain constantly every day. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really take any medication, I just get on with it. 
Harry's got a Facebook page called Atypical Progeria Syndrome. This was set up um, by ourselves when Harry was first diagnosed. We wanted to reach out to other families to see if there were any other families like Harry and you know, to raise awareness of the condition. I'd love to bring as much awareness to it as possible. It's important to raise awareness for progeria because we can't believe that there isn't anybody else like Harry. It might be somebody that's just waiting to get your diagnosis that you need. So, even though we've known each other for years and years and years, what, what do you actually know about Julia? I think I'm not alright, what to be honest with you, I don't think, it, it's not something I've really ever wanted to, to ask about. The thing that I know about you and your personality, so if you're, I know if you're, if you're down then there's something potentially up with you and it's, if you're not down then great, all good to go, <laughs> if you know what I mean, does it make sense? <laughs> He just loves life, he loves his life, it might not be great but he just gets on with it and he enjoys being around people that he cares about, he enjoys his dog, he enjoys his gaming, he just loves everything about his life, I think, I hope. I, I like to feel I'm a positive person, yeah, I don't let anything annoy me or get me down, it's like if it's not in my control what can I do, so I just take it as it goes really. My hopes for the future are just basically to, to live, a, live a long, happy life with as many people as I can.